Hello and welcome. Let's make a tomato cane today. I'm using Xmas red, yellow, opaque white and uh, translucent. I'm taking a tiny tiny bit of yellow and mixing into my white. Don't put too much in there, it's really important. And this mixed color, you can see it's a little more yellowish than the white I just showed you there. I'm rolling this out in a, a cane size thing around six centimeters and then I'm cutting it into three pieces of two centimeters and I can make the middle star of this for um, the tomato. Okay, I want to talk to you about this caning thing here today because um, I have been a crafter for uh, making miniature in like the most of my life. And uh, it's only since uh, 2000 or something that I have been um, working in scale, um, in 1 to 12 scale that is. And sometimes I just hit one of those low points where I just feel like giving up, like I'm not good at this, I'm not good enough. And I know that other people out there is having it exactly the same uh, way like me. Back to the video. I uh, mixed a big chunk of translucent clay with a tiny tiny bit of red. Really just a uh, micro piece of red and that turned this pink. Um, and I rolled that out on a setting 5 I think on my pasta machine. Then I'm using a tiny bit of the yellow and rolling a cane of that. Placing that into this uh, translucent clay. Uh, this pinkish translucent clay. And wrap it around the yellow without overlapping at all. Then I'm going to roll it thin and long. And this is going to be the seats of this um, cane here. And back to what I was talking about. I made this cane and I looked at it and the first uh, version I made, the middle point was too yellow and I had a friend also pointing out that it was too yellowish. That's why you need to make sure that you don't have too much yellow in there. And she was like, can you make it like this? And I was looking at this picture of it and I was like, yeah, that looks really, really nice and mine just suck and i was like bummed out i kind of knew that it was too yellow in the center um and i don't know why it bumped me out like that because uh, i don't know i have been making canes like forever and i really love making canes but these uh tomato canes they are for some reason really really difficult for me so this cane is actually the second one I made uh, where I made sure that I did not have too much yellow in the middle. But even though that the colors seems more right this time, I'm like still, it's okay, but it's not that good. And then I asked my husband, can you see what I'm working on here? And he was like, uh, no. And that kind of bumped me out even more and I was like this doesn't even look like a tomato or what but but I can see it as tomato I I know it is a tomato and it's I think it actually turned out really nice but now I'm doubting myself sitting here and thinking is this really a bad tomato am I really doing this really bad should I just stop making miniature it's like, oh, I kind of just want to throw everything on the floor right now and say, okay, I'm just going to quit. But I know it's just this tomato cane. Anyway, I didn't want to pour out my heart like this in a, uh, in a video where I'm supposed to show you how to make something really cool. I'm showing you this tomato cane even though that I don't think it turned out perfect. But it's the best I can do right now. Anyway, um, I think I'm not the only YouTuber that has this feeling out there. Maybe even sometimes 
when you're just crafting for the fun of it, you are sitting there and thinking, ha, ah, it's not good enough. I should not do this anymore. Oh, well, enough complaining from me. Um, I am pushing these seeds on one side so they are getting a little more oblong. And then I'm stacking them just like you see here in the picture. I know I'm a tiny bit out of frame, but um, you can see what I'm doing. So just placing them like that and then uh, popping them around this middle uh, center here. Maybe the center here should have been a tiny bit smaller than it is. That might have helped. So I placed all the seats around this middle point here and now I rolled out the rest of the clay in a thinner setting. I think this was a uh, 7 or 8, one of the thinnest settings on my pasta machine. And I'm just uh, wrapping the outside of this one. And for this uh, last piece over here, I didn't have quite enough, but it's okay. I'm just wrapping what I have around the last one. I kind of learned over the years that the canes where I'm a little more sloppy than I actually should have been are actually the ones that comes out best. So that's why it's it's not that big of a deal for me that there isn't quite enough of the pink. Now I took a piece of the red and mixed that with a piece of white that is almost the same size of uh, the red. So it's a 50-50 mix of red and white. And I uh, threw that through my pasta machine in a middle setting around 5-6. Um, and I'm just cutting a ribbon that can fit all the way around the tomato cane here. And then I'm going to use the rest for are placing in these empty pockets that there are here around the tomatoes. You will see in a second. So I kind of shaped these uh, pieces as a triangular shape thingy uh, so that they fit here in between these seed pots here. And I'm just stuffing them in there. And then I am taking my ribbon and I am putting that all the way around the cane without overlaying at all. Um, and I used up this mixed colors again. That was a 50-50 mix from uh, red and pink. And I'm just gonna uh, squeeze this uh, really nice together first, just because you don't want any air bubbles in your canes, because that would make uh, the clay fall apart when you try to cut it later. So squeeze it really good and try to avoid any air bubbles. I always do a lot of the squeezing here. Now to the red clay. This is just uh, red clay. There's nothing in this, only red. And I rolled this out on the thickest setting on my pasta machine. That was the one. And again, I'm making a ribbon that will uh, go all the way around. Uh, the tomato and I had a little too little here so I'm just going to make an extra piece that will fit uh, in there so I can have it all the way around my tomato. I rolled the rest of my red clay into a cane and I'm kind of making an indent here over the red pieces and then I am placing the red cane here on that part and cutting it off in length. I'm doing this all three places where I have the red. Then again I am squeezing this uh, 
maintain together making sure that I do not have any air pocket at all anywhere and I am going to wrap that all with this red um, cut out piece that we made first making sure it is going all the way around my cane but not overlaying And then again, I am squeezing everything really, really good together to make sure that I don't have any air bubbles or air pockets in here. And now it's just time to roll the uh, cane out into the size that you want it to be. So now I am squeezing and rolling and rolling and squeezing and continuing with squeezing and rolling and rolling and squeezing until the cane have the size that I want it to be in. And when I reach that size, I am just going to cut off a piece in one end of this. I know the first long piece of this will be garbage. So I am cutting the cane down until I think the pattern is looking right. And I like to cut my canes into pieces of five centimeters length. Uh, so I'm going to do that with my whole cane here because they're just more manageable. So you can bake the canes as is. Please don't give it more than 10 minutes. Then it will be so hard that it can be hard to cut. Or you can do as I do here. Cut the slices of the cane uh, right away and then... I'm going in with a dotting tool and making small indents around where the seeds in this tomato is going to be. And I'm doing this on all my slices. This will give them a tiny bit of texture before you bake them and that will make them look a little more real. I'm also using this needle tool to kind of make a little more um, texture here in the middle of the tomatoes. And when I'm ready, I'm just going to bake these uh, pre-sliced uh, tomato uh, slices and the canes that I want to um, bake like they are. So the canes 10 minutes and the pre-sliced you can give around 15 minutes. Anyways, that's all for these tomato slices. Now you can tell me if you like them or not. Um, I'm putting this one out there even though I don't really like the result of these. Thank you for watching and bye.